Prometheus, upon stealing the fire of the gods, offering symbolic knowledge to man, was duly punished for his performance, being thus bound and having his liver eaten by an eagle for all eternity. However, humanity, too, would suffer severe consequences. Angered by Prometheus's actions, Zeus had Vulcan create Pandora, the first human woman, to inflict misery upon man through her deceitful beauty. Pandora's name, of course, means all from Pan and gift from Dora. To high it is is Hermes who teaches Pandora the cunningness and deception of speech, as well as being the one who gives her her name. Pandora, of course, brings with her her infamous jar or box, which contains endless plagues and evils for people. Pandora comes as a gift, as her name implies, from Zeus, and is given to Epimetheus, Prometheus's brother. Prometheus, of course, means forethought, whereas Epimetheus means afterthought. Thus, as his name implies, Prometheus warns his brother not to accept the gift from Zeus, fearing it to be a deception. Epimetheus, also as his name implies, foolishly accepts the gift, causing Pandora to open her box, unleashing evils upon the world. The box is shut before the only item left, Hope, also known as Elpis, is allowed to leave. In Greek myth, Elpis is the spirit of hope, depicted as a flower-bearing woman, often interpreted by the Greeks, however, as being but an extension of suffering itself. In Final Fantasy XIV, we see how much this myth plays an impact upon the story itself. In the game, it is Hermes who creates Medion, an entelechy. To Aristotle, the word entelechy is that which makes what is potentially possible into an actual realization. Much like Metion, the Elpis flower in the game is also an entelechy. In other words, both represent Pandora and her box where Metion unleashes all destructive evils so as to end the extension of suffering, i.e. hope, whereas the Elpis flower symbolizes the hope that remains shut within Pandora's box itself. Elpis, of course, is a location representing the unsundered world, which is where we find Hermes and Metion. In the game, it is made apparent that pleasure and happiness cannot exist without pain and sorrow. As Elpis meets its end, the ancients of Elpis attempt to sacrifice lives and use Zodiac to stall the end days and stave off their suffering, returning to their perfect paradise. Vena or Heidelin tries to sway these members to accept the pain and suffering that comes with existence. When they cannot be swayed, she ultimately sunders them, stripping man of his wings and forcing them to walk, hence the expansion's title, Endwalker. As Hermes states to Medion in-game, he had given Metion wings, but he had never taught her how to walk upon the earth. In a flashback, we see Hermes tell Metion that upon her return, he will gift her with a beautiful flower. As the game goes on, we see Metion herald in the end days for various civilizations. In an odd way, Metion is represented as an artificial intelligence, using technical jargon and terminology associated with machines. In a way, Median could be seen as something akin to accelerationist warnings, where AI literally ends our existence to avoid extenuating our suffering, the entelechy, to bring about our ultimate end and actualization. Median is ultimately tasked by Hermes to find what various civilizations find meaningful in life. According to Emmett, the question is flawed, however, as Median is not a living entity that has a will to live. Thus, it is evident that the only conclusion Metion or AI would arrive at would be the destruction of creation in order to avoid suffering. In the end, however, it is Emmet who gives Metion the gift Hermes had promised her, the Elpis flower. In other words, it is the gift that Pandora did not release from her box. The flowers ultimately prove that the land is not devoid of hope. That which was once trapped within Pandora's box is now released, along with all the previous evils that came before it. In this, the blackbird of sorrow turns into the bluebird of happiness. Perhaps the message is not that man can return to paradise like Prometheanism proposes, but accepts the Epimethean folly. Hope may yet be an extension of sorrow, but what happens when it breaks outside the bindings of Pandora's box? 
Perhaps the answer is that walking men will not keep to their wings, but that winged men will learn to walk.